Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John. This is Video True, and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas dust. And yep, there's the dust. Plenty of it swirling around, some of it radioactive. Slightly problematic, the radioactive bit. And yes, indeed, last time we made our way into the strip and discovered we're not quite ready for the strip. Not yet, but we did discover some very, very valuable things that we're going to need to do that. In particular, yeah, I'd say we've pretty much got ourselves a, a shopping list, and by fun coincidence, I'd say we're just in the perfect flipping spot to actually go shopping for those precise items. You see, in this little bit of the world, kind of northeast out of Vegas, there's a bunch of very useful locations. Because I need myself medical supplies to get my rads down, and I need bullets. Many, many bullets. So we've got ourselves around here, the New Vegas Medical Clinic, the Survivor Camp, which is the old Crimson Caravan. That's a bit of a maybe, because that one's actually guarded. And there was the Cannibal Fort, formerly the Gunrunner's Place. Now, that's got to have some ammo inside it, and cannibals generally aren't the toughest things to take out. So, yeah, we might actually have a good amount of looting we can do in this part of the world without having to bother to head all the way down here to the Fields of Salvation, where, yeah, there's too many cannibals, a big open space, too many throwables. And while I'm in this part of the world, can't help but notice that, yeah, we discovered what's going on in the Strip. In the strip, it's basically just a maze of tunnels going underground and over the streets and everything. And in those tunnels, we found keys. Various keys. Now, one key I was expecting to find, the key to the monorail. Fine, gets me back to McCarran. That's clearly important if I could just pull it off. But one key I was not expecting to find was the key that apparently opens the gate over to Nellis. So... I think we might want to go and have a little look see at what's going on in Nellis, because that might be more important than I thought it was going to be. Still, for the time being, let's just have a little look see what's going on in this part of the world. And I'm close by to, uh, yeah, this is the, um, the Mole Rat Ranch. So, may or may not actually contain Mole Rats on this occasion. Let's just see what we've got going on here. Nice day. Crops, that's... Quite frankly, suspicious. Why is no one tending these crops? In fact, why is this entire area seemingly deserted? This area should not be... Oh, okay, that's better. By which I mean worse, but, you know, I was just a bit suspicious that it was just too flipping quiet around here. So, this at least makes a bit of sense. Right, danger, danger, danger. Yes. From what it... Oh, right. I preferred it when it was just too quiet. Fine, the Mole Rat Ranch has a death claw in it. Okay, let's let's just see if we can turn this around. By which I mean run away extremely flipping fast. It doesn't seem to have an exact bead on where I am. Oh, here we go. New Vegas Medical Clinic. Back to caution. Okay, that's better already. Does it actually know where I am? Is it following me? It might be stuck. I mean, it should be able to fit through that gap, but... You know what? I'll flip and take it. And inside, I should be... Oh, blimey, the booze. Yeah, you know what? This will just slowly get my rads down too. This is all fine. Oh, the death claw caught up with me, by the way. So, okay. Valuable lesson learnt. Don't go near the old mole rat ranch. And if I recall correctly, one of the problems that I did see in the Eastern map when I started in Raul's shack was uh, more death claws than I was expecting as well. Right. There might just be a lot more death claws. That might be what's between me and Nellis. Gotcha. Still, quiet for now. Let's just see if we can just punch our way through whatever's actually squatting in here. Because this still says clinic. So, okay. Just be ready to punch it in the face regardless. And the answer is, hello? Right. Crazed follower remnant. Yes, okay. I'm happy to just punch you to death. To be Oh, you're surprisingly tough, to be honest. Yes! Okay, there's... Oh, wow, it's... It's actually the Doctor. She is less tough, though. So we'll just basically punch her. Okay, um, stop punching if you can. No, never mind, we couldn't stop punching. Right, excuse me, you've got guns. Not keen on that. I'm just gonna punch you, because, yeah, uh, Vats hits for melee are double damage. Now just get some AP back, please, and go, 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 go. Go. You are surprising. Okay, that's... That's very surprising, in fact. Maybe if we just go for, yeah, hoping for a few criticals or whatever. Oh, yeah, these guys are 
I swear I've been taking down cannibals who have done nowhere near as much damage. Okay, step back outside. If I can just lead them outside or let my action points regenerate. Yeah, caution. Fine, this'll all work for me, followers of the apocalypse and for me. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I figured you might follow me outside given a moment. So now I can just basically two-shot you. So that is good. I'm so sorry. I'm so flipping sorry about this. Yes, I'm vilified. I'm not too surprised. Anyone else planning to follow? And I have failed. I don't hurt anymore. I'm not surprised I failed that. Yes, uh, crucial quest givers have, have been a little bit on the killed side. So that, that's unfortunate. Ooh, a journal. Okay, we've got flipping lore here. Unable to reach the extraction point. Ghouls everywhere. Marion and Esmond made it to the vertebrae in time. But Cal, I had to help him, right? I had to try. We've returned to the clinic for now. Perhaps we can try to hike our way to one of the NCR bases. It'll be tough. It's really our only option now. Fine. So, the good doctor mentions an extraction point, and between here and the extraction point, ghouls everywhere. Now, there's not that many ghouls around here, so that really means when she's talking about an extraction point, there's only a couple of locations she can be talking about. Either she's talking about inside, freeside, or the strip itself, or she's talking about McCarran. Now, Vertebird, an extraction, that suggests airports to me, so... McCarran is the most likely option, unless she's talking about Nellis. Could be Vertibirds over there, that's a former airstrip too. Interesting, worth having a think about. Also, can't help but notice that this power fist might sadly be uh, slowly outliving its usefulness just because of low condition. Might be better off just going over to the Ripper. Give it a go anyway, and excuse me, there we- it immediately broke. Okay, Rippers, not always the most useful thing in the world, actually, no. Yeah, you know what, we'll just actually punch you a lot in the face. That works too. Also, you've got yourself a submachine gun, don't you? Yes, you do. And that's flipping useful, actually. And by the way, probably just do myself a quick... Yeah, I've got 19 stim packs. Do myself a quick stim pack. I mean, caution, not danger. Get the action points back. Yeah, I saw that before with the Ripper I tested out in and around uh, Niptum. For whatever flipping reason, they just seem to just break. They just fall apart. Now, where's the... Where's the other guy? There's someone else here. Because whoever it was, he had a laser weapon. And here we go. Everyone is gone. Yes. Yes, they are. And there's our man. Okay, get over here, get over here, get over here. And boom, boom, boom. Down you go. And that should be, that's your lot. All right, good. Now, that's going to be a bit of sanity loss. Because, you know, I did technically just come and murder a bunch of doctors. But they were crazed. Okay, they sort of started it. Do, do I have a... I've got a bed here. Okay. Usable bed. Toilet off? No. Bad toilet. Okay, that's unfortunate. No water supply here. But, usable bed. Now, this is the big one. I need to find myself some usable supplies. Medical brace. Could make myself... Ooh, morphine. Okay. I can have myself some... Right. Good old physics there. Great old physics. Uh, ooh. Amputated arm. And then we've got... Ooh, okay. No. Sadly, that's just a little thing that comes up because, yeah, if you look at this auto dot when you're trying to do uh, the Et Tumor Brute quest. Sadly, I cannot turn this on for a full rad heal. As nice as that would be. And even worse, I'm not seeing... I'm not really seeing anything in the way of medicine so far. That is double morphine. I don't need morphine. I need Radaway still. We do have an investigation here. Hello. It's been two weeks since the task force climbed into the sewers beneath New Vegas. We've had no contact with them for 12 days. It's time to call it quits. As much as I hate to return to California empty-handed, it's for the best. With luck, we'll be able to assemble a second force and get to the bottom of this. If not, no matter. We'll have enough against Royce to put him behind bars for a century, even without physical evidence of his work at the Lucky 38. Ah! So, this makes a bit more sense. These followers, presumably yes, they came back or at least stuck around because they wanted evidence of what the NCR had done. They wanted to find what, I assume, like, Chief Scientist Royce had been doing, this experiment with this dirty cloud bomb thing that we've learnt about from being in the Strip, and take that evidence back to California to make sure he faced the consequences, because he was one of the few that got out at the beginning. 
Okay. This is interesting, but why the sewers? That implies if I want to learn more, I need to go down into the sewers. And if there's been one kind of, you know, repeated thing everyone said down in the comments, you know, people who say they've played this game, it's John, do not go into the sewers. Under no circumstances, go into the sewers. Never go into the sewers. So, we could go into the sewers, yes. And yes, indeed, nothing major, but actually, a copy of Fixing Things is surprisingly useful. Fixing Things means I might be able to, say, do the plane repairs earlier, and uh, another submachine gun. We're just getting the amount of 9mm ammo up, so that, at the bare minimum, is good. So I'm up to, what, 12 bullets in the 9mm, 11 in the 10mm. Gorse Rifle, plenty of ammo. Don't forget that's got plenty of ammo, even though I prefer to save it for big, meaty, snipey targets. Mexican hunting rifle, seven shots. Police pistol, about ten. Plus, yeah, a handful of pulse grenades and the power fist, but that is losing condition fast. So, yeah, not exactly what I was expecting. I was hoping to get medicine from here, but instead, we've got ourselves a bit of ammo. So, that's sort of nice, at least. Okay, another very useful building I know is nearby is, yeah, right in that corner of the outskirts of Vegas, there's a broken down trapped house full of booby traps. If I could just keep my distance and not get spotted by the death claw, I might be able to make it over to that house, have a little shufty through it, grab what's there, and get back out again. Assuming, of course, this place isn't just full of death claws. It would be useful to know what's going on because uh, over this side of Vegas, just outside the city limits in the base game, it's golden geckos, but I haven't seen a single gecko so far. Which makes me think the geckos have all been mostly replaced with tunnelers. And tunnelers on the east of Vegas, that would match what we've seen so far. Is this the right place, by the way? Is this it? No, this doesn't seem right. I think I'm in the wrong house right now. I think I need to go a house or two further along. Because there's definitely a trap house somewhere around here. But still, this all seems suspiciously quiet. That's it, I think. Yeah, I think that's the trap house right there. I thought it was right in the corner. Okay, so we can just loop around that and the Death Claw doesn't seem to be aware of us. And the road towards Nellis looks nice and quiet. Okay, this is... Uh-oh! I remembered that there were mines. Okay, I just didn't think I was close enough to trigger them. It's fine. Don't worry. Okay... There's other traps too, though. I forget what they are. Ooh, locksmith's really... That's actually quite bloody useful. Okay. Watch out for the other traps, because there's going to be... That's irradiated beer. That's less useful. I swear there's more traps than that. It's possible, however... Yeah, there we go. So there's one. Disarm that. And that is... Actually, that's a very nice... Ah, no, I can't open that. 40. And then hard locked. Okay, Mentats gets me in there. This could be worth it. Here we go, 90 XP and, uh, oh sweet, sweet Radaway. Yeah, Radaway. And then a couple of bits and pieces there. One doctor's bag, first aid box. No, nothing good there. But, again, nothing major. Okay, but one, ooh, that's, that's a very good quality sniper rifle from its value. Now that's of interest. Okay, just over half condition. Bonus critical chance. Fine, uses 308, obviously. Except, yeah, the gun requirement for it has gone up to 100. So we're looking at damage of 57. The DPS of 131. Now, how does that compare with Mexican hunting rifle? Now, that's got, yeah, technically that's less. Damage of 39. But... It does have bonus critical damage, and I meet the actual requirements for it, so as a result of that, yeah, I can actually aim it. I'm going to guess the problem here is going to be swaying all over. Yeah, that's just not good enough. If I need a big, powerful swaying thing, I've already got the gorse rifle. I don't need a second one. This was worth coming to just for that there Radaway, quite frankly. The Radaway will be great. In fact... Hang on, if I take... If I take medicine higher... Hang on, I hadn't really even thought about this, because normally it's not really a concern in the game. But, yeah. 
If I boost my medicine, I could actually do more healing with my Radaway, but I'm a fair way off from a level up. Don't even worry about it for now. Let's just see if we can get a little bit more rads out of the way. That'll be just fine, lovely. And hello. Just opened the door out the back. Yeah, okay. So what I was worried about is confirmed. There are plenty of death claws floating around the back area. Gotcha. Now, luckily, I have a ridiculously big over-the-top rifle, which could be, you know, quite useful for this exact scenario. With a sneak attack critical thrown in on top of the ridiculous base damage of this thing. Yeah, what are we looking at here? We're looking at, oh, we're looking at a big old pile of them. Okay, fascinating. Well, I may as well give it a go. If I can just get one of them lined up nicely. If I could just get myself a nice shot here. Oh, that was a hit. How much damage did I just do to you, though? Because, okay, even as a sneak attack critical, that was not good enough to kill. Which is concerning. Oh, now there's a massive cluster of them. Still, now we know how many we're looking at. We're looking at a full flipping... What's a group of death claws called? A herd? I don't know, but I now know that a hit with a gorse rifle that's a sneak attack critical is not enough to kill them. Now, that's... That's concerning. I tell you what, I'm this side of the world. If I was just to go this way, loop around the outside of them, this bit of the world looks quiet. If I just head across here and then cut left beyond the actual herd of death claws. Could I just work around them without being seen? Because, I'll admit, I'm curious. Nellis. What is going on in Nellis? But I'm pretty confident I'm going to be running into Tunneler territory. I mean, actually, in the base game, this bit of land is weirdly empty. There's like a couple of squatters around a fire over there. There's the fire, in fact. And they look armed over there. A couple of survivors. Ripper and... What are you holding there? I think it's a makeshift minigun, actually. Yes. Okay. Give them some distance. Rock and a hard place. I should be far enough away from these guys not to be spotted. I should be far enough away from you not to be spotted. Then we just head over here. And that up there is the little road that leads in the right location. Now, I wouldn't mind nipping into the small shack right here. Because, yeah, there's the special BB gun in the base game, which is... Not that useful for me, to be honest, but, you know, it's a named location. There might be some law there. Oh, no, 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 that's just the survivor. Don't panic. I was just curious whether there might be death claws this far. No, we can definitely loop around them. That's fine. I'm just curious what's going on, because clearly the NCR is hiding something at Nellis, and that's of interest. So let's just have a little look, see what we got. And what we've got as a starting point is ammo and... Oh, weird. Okay. There's a sort of ammo you don't see very often. All right, fine. What have you? Let's just head in here. Field Shack. Still called Field Shack. We should be at point blank range, so power fish should do the job. Quiet. Okay. What exactly do we have here then? Tiny bit of ammo. Not bad, to be honest. Junk rounds, useful. I mean, low quality, basic pistol stuff. That is useful for clearing out ghouls. And yeah, we've got the actual little uh, BB gun here, which is only weighs two. And yeah, the weird thing about this gun is, though its damage is actually very low, yeah, if it actually gets the critical, it does actually do an awful lot of damage. It's actually not bad. But with only ten shots in it and weighing two, no, leave it. Leave it, leave it, leave it. Just take the ammo and be on our way. Now, on rads, I'm pretty happy with where we are. Okay, we're back down below 400, which is very, very welcome I've got plenty of booze. I'd like to get back down below 200. I might just have enough booze to pull that off. Now, hello. What do we have here? Unsurprisingly, NCR Trooper. Okay. That is not too surprising at all, to be honest. And oh, that is bad time for the Mentats to wear off. Can't see what I'm doing. Yeah, we good? I think we're good. Right, we'll just... Excuse me. How, how on earth did that just miss? Okay, that should not have flipping missed, but alright, fine, whatever. There must still be a bit of spread on this gun. Okay, what have you? 
On we go. There's the survivor over there. All right, they don't seem too fussed with me. So, NCR definitely occupying this place. Gotcha. The question is, does the actual bombardment still flipping happen? And by any chance... Oh, you're going to be the guy who in the base game runs up to you and says, I'll do you the wager, diddly diddly day. And by the way, you've also got yourself... Tell you what, that's not bad. I'll take all of this. That's actually a bunch of bullets. Yeah, go on. I'll give this thing a go. Just use up the bullets, then toss it away. Nine extra bullets. So, will the bombardment still... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, -oh. uh -oh. wait, where did you even... Where did you even come from? Where did you... I don't know where this guy came from, or who wounded him, or... Okay, I'm going to die now. Lead him into the bombardment, lead him into the bombardment, lead him into the bombardment. Sneak around the back of trees. He's going to struggle to navigate, like, around trees and cars and stuff. And ow! Okay, over the top of... Never mind. Where the heck did you come from? Oh, confirmation there's still the explosion, mind. Ah, wait. I'm wondering if the death claw came from this direction and possibly killed those two guys on his way up here. Fine, well, I want to see what's going on here, if I can, regardless. Okay, important to me, I know, but do just keep an eye out to make sure this guy's not about to immediately, like, you know, appear behind me. Which he probably is. Do you just spawn in? New Vegas doesn't generally just spawn enemies where you're not looking. But that's not to say it might not happen on this occasion. Okay. I think we're safer on this occasion. All right, now, the bombardment is still in effect. That is definitely true. So, best way to get through the bombardment is abusing turbo and sticking to the far left as far as I'm concerned. I know there's this whole, oh, hide in the empty houses and diddly diddly d madness. I think that's actually not a good idea. Also, the... Okay, the bombardment is coming out further than I was expecting. Gotcha. Normally it's not that far back. Yeah, I'm sitting on enough turbo. I can probably make it. I'm just curious what's there. All right, be ready. Hit the turbo the moment you hear anything. There we go. I heard something. Right, activate turbo. Come on and put guns away, please. Guns away. And now we just basically run straight flipping for it. The world is in slow-mo thanks to Turbo. Turbo has worn off, and no, it has not. Go, 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 go. Just run straight through the light, and the second Turbo should get you close enough to the gate. They will stop firing. The question is, who's they? So, okay, NCR Trooper. Unsurprising. Any chance I could persuade them to open the gate by, like, hiding behind a rock and firing some pot shots? Because there's, yeah, okay. There's more over here. I see ya. And I see you with uh, missile launchers. Yes, that's certainly true. Now, I also think, if I recall correctly, that the way the actual rules of this area work is, once you've actually bypassed it once, I don't think they fire again. I think the bombardment at that point just stops. Forever. So now I'm just safe from bombardments. I think, anyway. And by the way, I'm going to need to take a shot at Missile Launcher Man. Just to make sure he doesn't take a shot at me. And I see you down there. You're a nice easy pick up, or at least you should be. There you flipping go. Nice. Now, question is, who else knows about that? At least one other person does. And, oh no, okay, three. I count three that just heard that and are now looking at the corpse. And now they're walking away. You've got a rifle. You, I think, actually picked up the missile launcher. So you probably ought to go down as well, to be honest. So that's a two. And then, okay, there's, there's at least, and now another person. Okay, seriously, stop picking up that missile launcher. It ain't good for your health. I'm not kidding around here. Okay, now this is kind of what I wanted. I think I've actually officially destroyed the missile launcher. I've been detected by one person that has got a rifle. But, right now, they've got no way to actually shoot at me. So the question is... 
Okay, so the missile launcher is still in play. Got it. Yes. I, I see that. I see that as a problem. Hold, hold still, hold still, hold. I said... There you go. I told you to hold still, you bastard. And come on. You can just... Never mind. Okay. Took more ammo than I'd like, but the front door has been cleared out. That's got me a bunch of XP, but slight issue. I probably need to kill these guys again, because I'm not getting in here anytime soon. There's only one way in, and it's the gate. And none of you guys are going to have keys on you, are you? No. No, you are not. Right, so, basically, I've got myself an answer for what's over here. And it's not actually too difficult to shoot those guys down with ammo. Just, yeah, basically, I don't know, eight bullets out of a high-powered rifle will clear out the front door. Problem is, yeah, I don't actually know what else I can do. Any chance I can just force my way in. Hmm. I mean, this is a Fallout game, which normally means the physics is made of paper and string. I mean, just looking at the location of the rocks around here. This rock strikes me as an option. There's another rock round there that looks like it might theoretically work. Yes. Uh, hang on, let's just have a little close-up over there. That is... That looks good. Yeah, okay. Either of these could work, yes. No, not quite on this rock by the looks of it. Just keep having a poke around. There might be another way in. Also, there's another gate here. Yeah, I'd forgotten about the railway gate. By any flipping chance, would this be... Okay, that's the one that requires the key. So, two ways in. One, very hard locked. Two, key. I could 100% squeeze under here. Alright, don't even pretend you couldn't just get down on your belly and roll under this. It would be so flipping easy. Watch out for the gutsies, though. Those guys sort of hurt, yes. Also, just to confirm, the bombardment does not stop after the first time you make it through. Gotcha. Well, in that case, I think I know what I need to do, starting from, yeah, the little hut here. Number one, this guy goes down to a nice, quick gorse rifle shot, swapping out four microfusion cells for his gun, together with, like, 11 bullets or something, which is much more appropriate for hunting ghouls. Same deal for the poor campfire bastards who... Did you just survive that? I think your gun just tanked for you there. So you can just go down to a ridiculously massive hit right there. And as for your friend, you seem to be mostly unarmed with the exception of a lead pipe right here. I think you, my good man, can go down nice and fast. Lovely. So we'll just, yeah, take all of your stuff off you. You didn't have anything on you, but this guy, if I'm lucky, has... Oh, dear. Right, uh, a makeshift minigun fires BB rounds. Okay, that isn't what I was really expecting to see here. I assumed it still used 5mm, but okay, fine. Whatever. Bit of a waste of... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hello, you're a... Ooh. Well, it says Hunter, but one of you dress like an NCR. And also, you're all grouped together, and, and I don't have a... Well, this is, this is going to cause problems right here. Well, if you're all in a nice big straight line, then your friends are going to block for you. That works for me, oh dear. Right, okay. Watch out for the Hunters, especially if you don't have an explosive to clear them all out. Because, because problems. Also, flamethrowers. Obviously, flamethrowers. Also... Can you not aim your flamethrower? I think you're struggling with your flamethrower there a little bit. Yeah. Right, you can just go down in a moment. Stop trying to heal yourself. Yeah, they totally set their own friends on fire. I'm about to die. Still, we've, we've learned valuable lessons here. Valuable lessons. Maybe we just stay away from these two bastards because they're just not worth it. Yeah, just give those two a wide berth. They've got friends nearby who I do not want to mess with. So... Now we just head back the way I came, avoiding both those guys and the Death Claws. My next destination is probably, yeah, what used to be the Gunrunners. Handful of cannibals, generally not that dangerous, guarding a building that strikes me as an excellent candidate for plenty of ammo. And I really need that ammo because it is a very, very, very big pile of ghouls inside the strip. Ooh, excellent point before I actually head back towards there, though. 
Durable Dun Sacked Caravan. That's got a whole bunch of loot scattered around on the ground, if it's still there, and a, a bunch of... Is that a dog? Is that a dog? Do I see a dog? That looks distinct like it... No, that's a dead Brahmin. Alright. That's a dead Brahmin on its side. Survivor. More survivors. Just the two. No, three. There's one that's just out of that range right there. Alright, let's just have a little look see here. But I feel like... I might want to just leave them be. They are hostile. How much would they have on them? Probably not much. That is... That's just a cleaver. What are you actually armed with? Nothing by the looks of it. How about you? Sawn off shotgun. Alright, if I didn't want to take you out, you'd probably be target number one in that case. Let's just walk away. No need to cause trouble with them. Especially when there's a bunch of houses right here that actually might well provide me with some good stuff at relatively low risk. Yeah, there's a bunch of open houses around here. This would do the job. So, let's see what we got in here. And the answer is... All quiet, but easy looting. Including kitchens, which might include booze and ammo. Yeah, this here. This is the good stuff right flipping here. So let's just have a quick loot around all of these here houses. Because some of these kitchens are going to be useful. And the old bathroom might give me a new toilet. Ah, oh, you see, look at that. Brahmin steak and nuka cola. Spot on. Except, ooh. Nuka cola is basically just a way of fighting sleep. But it gives me rads. It's probably worth me not doing that anymore. No. Yeah, so rads plus two, four seconds. That's worth eight rads. No. I need to get rid of that. I need to get rid of that. If I'm starting to get tired, and I'm getting a bit tired, one atomic cocktail gives me... That's rads just... It says just plus four. Hmm. Okay, that's sleep significantly down. Right now my sleep is not so bad. You know what? That's fine. Minus one agility is not the biggest thing in the world. We're okay. But I need to really stop drinking from toilets as well. Which is such a shame because it's such a good thing to do. Right, have a little poke about. Don't forget to check the mailboxes. Programmers Digest. Never say no. Yeah, more houses. There's a bunch of houses around here that might just actually give me some booze, some food, all sorts of useful stuff. Hello! How angry are you at me right now? Slightly angry. Slightly angry. I've probably just failed a quest there. Anyone else? Yep, there we go. Someone to watch over me has been failed officially. <laughs> That's beer. I like beer. Oh, it's a cannibal house, so sadly, nothing but uh, human meat. Still, a bunch of stuff in here. Slightly unusual kitchen. I'll gladly help myself to a bit of scotch, thank you. And yeah, here we go. Toilet. I can't afford to drink from that anymore. I've got to stop doing it. It's a bad habit. I need to cut it out. So flipping tragic, but I need to start using... Yeah, just water I'm carrying around with me, which is not so bad, really. I do have some purified water with me. If I could find another experimental radix, I've got a bunch of dirty water, so I could do another conversion to... Okay, let's, let's just stay focused on that for the time being. We're fine. And don't forget beer. Beer is good. Keep drinking beer. Gets water down. Gets strength up. Gets my sanity back, gets 10 rads off my counter. It's good stuff. Now, Crimson Caravan. I would love to storm this place because the storefront has several first aid boxes. I just don't know if I can do it. And whether I'd lose a ton of ammo even flipping trying. Let's just have a poke to see if maybe, yeah, if I go in this way, then run immediately to the right... I might be able to just get hidden behind a house and just take them out one by one as they come around the corner. I just want to see how many there are and how well armed they are. And go, go, go. Okay, so there's a survivor right there. He's going to start shooting me. Apparently I've got a zero chance to hit him. Okay, most people haven't attacked yet. Wait, why can I not hit you? Okay, there's slightly too many. Got it. That's, that's not gonna fly. I mean, what is the right angle to approach from there? If I was just back off... Oh, yeah. This is definitely the right way to come in because loads of them are just spawned over there. Okay, fine. Don't even worry about this. Focus attention instead on the old Cannibal Fort, which is, in fact, just a polite name for where the gun runners used to live. That's over this side beyond the east barricade. Should still be a little bit clear. I think I took out 
one of the cannibals and also a bunch of cannibals who were just standing around the corner over here. So I might, if there's any on the barricade, be able to take a couple of pot shots at them from here without going inside. But it does actually look pretty quiet, actually. I don't see any trouble yet. Because there's definitely a big barricade running around the top here. You see people on it in the base game, but oh. Hello. Who's starting to become aware of me? That's mildly concerning. No, back to hidden. Good. Just need to find... Yeah, there we are. Those are the ones I've already killed. So, some of the people who are probably supposed to be guarding this place are down already. Now, all of these here barricades, walls, corners. There's one. Okay. Hang on. Might just be able to take you out immediately. Should just be able to shoot you straight through here, right? Yeah, fine. There you go. Number one goes down. Good. And there can't be that many people close to him. Because that has not immediately triggered an alert. So nobody saw that body go down. Which is... Of interest. And yeah, I can see through here. No one on the barricade. This place is... Weirdly not guarded. Alright, I see a cannibal all the way down there. But that's part of the sacrificial fields cannibals, I believe. Yeah, there's a few of them over there, but I don't think they're coming in this direction. They won't see me if I just decide to ransack their base. This is average. I can do average. Nice. This is all working out so far. Yes. Oh, here we go. We got one more round the back here. And then, no, no, two more. Two more. But, looks like you've got a gun. Other one to me. Very much looks like they do not have a gun. So if you would just like to run at me, if you'd be so kind. One headshot will do for you. Yeah, cannibals. Squishy. Squishy, squishy, squishy. By the way, what have you got? You've not nothing but the armour. Who else is here? I've spent... You know what? I'm going to go over to, uh, yeah, Power Fist if I can. I'd rather just finish you off with that. No need to waste ammo on you people. So that is a one. And a light tap with an actual knife. Down he goes. Oh, there's more though. There's more. There's more. Okay, wait. 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 This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. And boom. He's got one light shot him. One head crippled. Two critical strike. Three. You're now dead. And it looks like I've been teleported back around the corner. Yeah, okay. And hit him. All right. I think I used, what was that, like two bullets for those four kills? Happy with that. Now, this gets me a single shotgun. Terrible, but I'll take the ammo regardless. I've got the space for that right now. What do we have here? What do we have? We've got makeshift laser repeater, which includes, yeah, you know what? I'll take the flipping ammo for that. That's always welcome. And then we got, you had fat mine. Oh, yeah. A fat mine is very, very good news. That is powerful as anything. And it was very good at clearing out a very big group of ghouls. Exactly like what I'm going to be trying to take on very soon indeed. Spot on. All right. Inside we go. If it's nothing more than squishy cannibals like this, should be able to storm the place pretty easily. Use up the 4-5 because, honestly, I'd just like to use it then dump it. Cannibals bunker. This place is, if I recall correctly, not so big. It's like an opening room, then two fairly long corridors leading to two rooms at the end. It's a small, small dungeon. And I see you over there, behind that door. But you don't see me. Yeah, I thought so. Opening room. Corridors. Bedrooms over in this direction. Workshop in the other. Let's see what we got here. Let's just see what we got. We got... Hello... I see you right there, and... No, 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 no. You don't get to do that, actually. You're a little bit tougher than some of them. Oh, there's more, though. Okay, there's... What the heck are you shooting me with? Whatever it is, stop it right now. I've been melted. Okay, they're a little bit more dangerous than I thought they might be. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. I've just got to find the right angle to approach from... Hit them at longer range. So there's definitely a couple of them over there. At least two. One of whom's got like a, I don't know, makeshift plasma caster or something. Well, now I know I need to treat them serious. Police pistol will do the job. Yeah. Proper ammo. 25 damage a shot. That'll do nicely. 
I've just got to get the the shots in. There we go. So you, my good man. One, two, almost dead already. Right. Let him come to me. Okay. And then, oh, blimey! <laughs> All right, chill out, sunshine. Uh, I'll take a few fat shots, see if I can just distract it. But whatever the hell you've got going on, that is, that is not fun. That is, that's enough to kill him. Right, okay. I think he killed his friend. Right. And I'm back to hidden. What the bloody hell are you using? So this is a makeshift ion blaster. Uses, yeah, microfusion cells for a ridiculously over-the-top light show. Right, well, grab it and then drop it for the ammo. That's actually done a bit of damage to my flipping limbs as well. And I bet my armor's starting to look a bit... Actually, no, my armor's looking okay. My armor is looking okay, which is welcome. And you, my good man, had... No, I think that was actually you. That was the same corpse right there. And thankfully, the other guys don't seem to have heard that. So I can help myself too. Makeshift machine gun, which is more 9mm. This is what I need. Just all of the cheap ammo types. That's what I'm wanting right now. I'm just wanting every cheap ammo type going. So I'm up to 23 shots in 9mm. 11 in 10mm. Still got 7 in 4.5. And that's really light as well. Yeah. This. This is not bad as a starting point. Also, if I'm hungry, there's cram there. Cram is very, very good as a food item. So keep that in mind too. In fact, actually, this place has got beds. Alright, this could potentially be an interesting little base. Uh, did I check the toilets for... haven't yet. That's because, okay, for whatever reason, the toilets don't open in this place. No way to access the cubicles. That's peculiar. Ooh, I've become addicted to whiskey, along with literally everything else. I think I've got, like, a full suite of addictions right now. It's marvellous. And, oh, hello. Your... The door's open, 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 the door's open. Right, um, you can just die at this point. Did... Sorry, did no one else notice that? Did... Did you not notice the corpse? There's a corpse. Okay, she's noticed. Right, I think she's had as much whiskey as I've had today. Right, beautiful. Oh, she's just using a ripper. Is it just you? So if it's just you, that oh is flipping God. spot on. Right, okay. You can just go down. I don't have the ammo for this. This is a concern. This is a concern. This is a concern. Don't get out weapons you don't have the flipping ammo for. Right, excuse me. No, 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 no. No, no, this isn't cool. You don't get to kill me. That's not fair. You're a cannibal. You're soft and squishy and useless. We're in danger. We're in danger, we're in danger. Right, one of them's right there. This is fine, this is fine, this is fine, this is fine, this is fine. Are you holding an anti-material rifle right now? Because I, I think you are. Okay, back, back, hidden. Gotcha. Yeah, you are actually holding an anti-material rifle. Luckily, it was in an appallingly bad condition. Only 47 for 20 weight, not even remotely worth it. That uses 5mm, I don't really have any of that. Okay, leave that be. What about you? You just had the Ripper. Fine, and one guy at the end. Okay, I've taken this place. Taken a little bit of damage, but honestly, health is actually not so bad right now. Health is fine. I've got 15 stim packs. The problem is, the only way to get rid of rads is booze, but booze is pushing up my water, and almost every way I have to get water would give me more rads, so I'm stuck in a bit of a, a vicious cycle at the minute. Bit of a vicious cycle, just check. We're safe. All right. So there must be some flipping ammo in this place. I mean, there's got to be something worth having here. Also, don't forget you. Oh, you're dressed all fancy-like. Very, very nice indeed. A dress cane. Dress cane and a gambler's suit, etc., etc., etc. Very nice. Right. Have a little loopsy round. I mean, it would quite frankly be weird if the only place I actually found any ammo was the place that I wasn't looking for ammo, but... All right, fine. Let's see what we got here. Oh, one average locked locker. Good, that's just free XP. I don't even care what's inside. That's XP right there. And nothing major. Carton of cigarettes and some mugs. All right, what else have we got dotted about here? Oh, just found a bunch of Thorazine in one of the actual, yeah, little uh, bags dotted about. That's welcome. That's a bunch of sanity. Though, honestly, sanity is uh, probably one of the things I don't have a problem with at the minute. Observation. When I say I need ammo, well, there is a reloading bench right here. 
And I am carrying around a giant pile of casing for ammo I actually, you know, would quite like to have. Now that's of interest. Yeah, if I want to make more 10 or 9 millimeter. Okay, what is the most efficient ammo type to make? Because generally I don't bother making my own ammo. So that would require, yeah, I've got 32 cases of that. I'd need some lead, some powder for a pistol, primer for a large pistol. Okay. Meanwhile, 10, that is more lead, uh, more powder. So actually, that's that's quite cheap to make next to 10mm, despite the fact that's actually a lot better. And 9mm is extremely cost efficient to make, and I've got 50 cases for it. I just need a bunch of lead. Okay, this is interesting. What can we potentially break down here? So I can break down, yeah, I'm never going to be using all of that business. So that's, that's absolutely fine to just break down all of that. Doesn't get me the primer large pistol, though. So that's a bunch of lead, sure, but I need the primer large pistol. But would you just flipping believe it, right here, there's a bunch of .44 Magnum I'm not using for anything that I can just use to make... Oh, yeah. Oh, flipping yes. Now this. This is what I should have thought about doing. Doing the crafting you never normally bother doing in New Vegas because there's no need because money and ammo are flipping plentiful. But this is suddenly all very interesting. So I could have myself 32 shots out of the 4-5. Or, hmm, probably, yeah, less than that out of... No, actually, 9 times 32. No, that'll be fine. That should be just about fine. I could still do the 32 there. The limiting factor right now is the primer of the large pistol. Do I want to do 9 millimeters? Hang on. I need to just check the relative damages and also the conditions of my gun. So the 10 millimeter is in excellent condition. All things considered, has the silencer. This thing is in less good condition. Yeah. Probably the most sensible thing to do just because of the condition and thus less concerns about reloading is make as much 10mm as possible. Make a flipping ton of 10mm. And that can be used to actually take out ghouls at point blank range. I've already got plenty of 9mm. That's got the scope on it. And then just use this up and then just toss it because the condition is not good. There we go. 32 10 millimeter rounds, spot on. And I can't make 9 millimeter anyway, that actually requires small pistol in order to make. So what can I actually use to make? Actually, I've not got anything else I can break down for small pistol primer, so I can't make 9 millimeter anyway. The question really is, should I actually break down the 4.5 just to dump the gun and just have more 10 millimeter? I mean, 4.5 is technically superior, but the weapon's weak, it's gonna run out of ammo pretty quickly. It's just extra weight I could do without carrying. Yeah, screw it. Why not? Break that down and then just make more 10mm with that. Yeah, fine. Just an even trade. Lovely. And oh, this is nice to see. Flipping 12 shots and 36 in reserve. Oh, that's just flipping sexy right there. You know, I could have sworn that someone said in the comments that actually there was something special floating around in this part of the world. Like a unique gun variant or something. But I've been through... Every corpse, every container, everything in this place twice, and I have not seen a thing. So either the game has been updated and modified at some point, or something is level locked. Because uh, there's definitely nothing here. And dear oh dear, I've been away too long. Cannibals are flipping respawning over there by the entrance to Freeside. That's no good at all. Now, just going to give this one more poke before I give up on Crimson Caravan. Because I feel like, yeah, you just shot to ribbons. The moment you step inside. Especially as they've actually changed the sign so now it reads the psychos. Which is worrying. But maybe on this side, if everyone spawns on the other side, I might be able to get to safety before everybody murders me. Okay, I should be spawning with a house immediately on my left. Go, 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 go. I think I got a little bit lucky there, to be honest. Now, how many of them are there? How many are we looking at right now? How many are we looking at? And... Oh, hello. Yes, 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 yes. It's fine. I see you're moderately dangerous, but you're also squishy. And you're an NCR person. Okay. This is... This is fine. Oh! Okay. That might have worked. Might have worked. If I killed a few, then went and hid inside one of the buildings. I'm going to try that again, actually. So, go, go, go. Maybe if I could murder... Wait, what are you even getting out right now? No, that's just a rifle. That's just a rifle. How accurate are we in terms of taking out this guy? 
I don't know. Vats has just decided to break on this occasion. No, no, not, not him. There we go. Not very. Okay. And I also just got stuck slightly on that. Oh, blimey heck. Even with this elite armor, there are enemies here that can basically one-shot me. This doesn't feel like this is going to work. No, 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 no. Right, just give it one more go over here. Okay, that's probably about as good as I'm going to get in terms of the initial approach. Probably get some healing going on just here, just in case. And now just basically let him come one by one and go. He just missed his first shot, which is good. Now someone else is coming around the corner. Immediately go into Vats and Vats you as well. That will buy me at least a little bit of breathing room. Oh, there's... Oh, there's like an entire flipping line of them. Oh, no. Well, this isn't going to work, is it? No, 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 no. Oh, I almost made it around the corner as well. No, there's way too many of them. There's way too flipping many. Maybe if I killed the first two and then dropped a mega mine? That's possible, actually. Okay, I'm going to try that. I'm just going to try that just for fun. But I need to basically get lucky on this initial run. So I need these two guys to now run up to me. I need to take them out nice and quickly. I do still have the fat mine. So I need to kill these two guys right here. This is fine. Yeah, okay. So you don't need to go down before you fire. You actually just hit me, but that's defense is not great inside. Wait, oh, there's too many of them already. Too many of them already shown up. No, no, not a chance. Not a flipping chance, even with this armor. Well, as that's a complete flipping no-go, that means there's one more thing I would like to look at. Because we did see some notes earlier talking about the sewers and how people went down to the sewers and never returned. And the comments have been saying, never go into the sewers under any circumstances. You are not ready for the sewers. Now, I have been into the sewers once before during my first little run through, where if I recall correctly, I ran past... Yeah, there were about 10 million ghost people and then I was murdered by cannibals. So, you know, it's probably going to be fine because cannibals aren't a problem. Here we go, manhole to sewers, spot on. So I want you to know that the game agrees with you all down in the comments because the game crashed like three or four times before it actually let me come into the sewers. But finally, I managed to get an autosave down coming through and that means I am now safely inside. Now, sewers, 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 sewers. What is so bad about you? Cannibals. Okay, cannibals in the sewers. We knew about that. We can deal with cannibals. Cannibals are fine. Cannibals are not a problem in the flipping slightest. Just let them come over here. There we go, you stupid bastards. And if you'd like to actually split yourselves out, I'm happy to just, yeah, power fist all of you. Hello, no, I'm right here, I'm right here, I'm right here. Yes, you definitely should actually come and attack me with, like, your stupid cleavers, you stupid bastards. That's totally a good idea. And then we'll just punch you, and then we'll punch you again. Yeah, you know what? I think I can handle a handful of cannibals, guys. Seriously, this is fine. I can now say with absolute certainty that I am safe in the sewers forever. Now, admittedly, there are more cannibals. Yes, some more cannibals we haven't seen yet. And you are... Actually, once again, they've not got much uh, on them. As I'm actually already in point blank with this guy, I will just shoot him in the face. Back to hidden. Okay, this all seems, yeah, eminently doable, Rebel. Ooh, hang on. Rebel Skeleton. Oh, wait, hang on. This is the first mention of Rebels since we saw that little NCR message saying, Chase the Rebels North. Okay, I found something interesting. Victory is ours, repeat, victory is ours. The sewers of New Vegas are and forever will be a safe zone governed by the people of Vegas. We have food, water, ammo, and medicine for those starving in the waste. Join the kings in rebuilding Vegas. Ah, they were lying. The kings were not here. The kings went to Boulder City. So this is like that propaganda leaflet we saw earlier in the, um, the what is it? The starting location where you're by the airstrip, which I actually went for. There was a leaflet on the ground saying, hey, come to the sewers, it's safe. So it's just cannibals uh, deliberately lying to try and lure people in so they can eat them. Fine, makes sense. Though that still doesn't make a huge amount of sense as to why they'd be labelled as rebels. Rebels just doesn't seem the right word for just a roving band of cannibals. Unless, of course, these are all like NCR deserters. Well, all seems quiet so far, to be honest. Probably lights off, just in case. Hidden at the minute. 
And we've got no big sign of trouble. Kind of need some light on here, to be honest. I can't see what's going on. The problem is the... Oh, yep, I need to keep drinking booze, though. Do need to keep drinking booze, otherwise I'm in trouble. Yeah, here we go. Old American flag. Feel fine. Quit your whining. Escape. Oh, hang on. Hello. Salvation is at hand. Safety lies just ahead. Keep your gun holstered. Don't make any sudden movements. We'll meet you. Ooh, safety. I like safety. I shall come and enjoy the safety. I'm going to say the safety. Like, the arrows implied it would be this way. It doesn't seem to be this way. And, ooh, lies, lies, lies. That's probably important as well. The keys are a lie. Okay. So when you say keys, what keys? Hang on, if I just miss some keys, they're like keys hanging up and if I, if I touch them, there's immediately an explosion or something. Well, there are a bunch of suspicious holes around here. I just, I don't actually see what I'm supposed to be. Right, I'm not quite sure because there's a note here. But, oh, hang on. Even more, yep, false hope. Right, this time just really double check. Because there might be more. Do not believe the lies of the snake. Do not believe him. For there are seven abominations in his heart. Now, the snake was mentioned in Fallout 4 Frost. Okay. Do we actually have a bit of continuity between these two games here? That would be certainly a bit on the unusual side. But it's not impossible. And this place is a massive flipping maze as well. Right, watch out for... Oh, that's... That looks like cloud over there. That looks distinctly like cloud. That's a cannibal. Just keep your distance for the time being. Open the door. Yeah, okay. So this place is, is big and it's radioactive, at least in parts, which I can't really be dealing with. Now there's corpses. Rebel skeleton. Okay. Rebels. Ah! Rebel skeletons. Right. Possibly the sewers were held by rebels once upon a time. But oh dear, what is going on here? Right, well, obviously this can't stand. This is a giant pile of rads. But what happened here? What happened to them? NCR dog tags. Yeah, okay. I'm just going to go down because I'm just curious. Because one of you might have like some explanation as to what's going on here. So... Hello? Anyone want to explain? Or do you just want to be a pile of corpses in a giant pile of rads? I think you just want to be a giant pile of corpses. Ooh, sewers! Yeah, I'll go through this, great. This seems like a good idea. And, ah, this leads me back to you bastards. Got it. That's, that's no good at all. Right, so... Okay. We've also got a feral ghoul roamer right here. Excuse me, I just need to... Take off your head if you'd be so kind. Thank you. Now, what is going on here? Survivor. Somebody please explain what's going on. And, by the way, I think you're actually about to do that. Lies. All lies. Sewer key. Okay. You, my good man, have a sewer key. That's potentially quite useful. There's nothing left. When Boulder City fell, they told me to head to Vegas. The rebels still hold the sewers, they said. They'll help you out. Yeah, right. Ah. So... The kings were once here. The rebels are kings. And that actually makes sense. Because that is how the NCI used to talk about the kings. As like rebellious free side citizens. Okay. Starting to make sense here. So the kings did hold Boulder City and the sewers. The sewers fell to cannibals. And also ghost people too. And also apparently ghouls. So basically everything. The sewers were basically just a bad idea. Boulder City fell to the ghost people. All I've found in this shithole is cannibalistic madmen and fleshless skeletons. I wonder which came first. All the Radaway in the world can't save me now. That is true. We do have some problems in here with, yeah, all of the actual rads. That is definitely a, a very big problem. Hello! You're a ghost person and that's a problem for me. So, that's a little bit of information we've got out of this area. Oh, I'm, yeah, struggling. Struggling a little bit here. I'm losing strength fast. Just keep the vodka going. Luckily, these guys are flimsy. They can barely hurt me. So, just running straight past them is a pretty good strategy. Let's see what else we can learn here. A ghost is unconscious for no well-explained reason. If I can find myself something... No, no, ignore him. Ignore him. It's the corpses I'm interested in. 
So we've got ourselves a survivor. And, okay. In Camaram Obscurum. Another sewer key. Right. So, what have we got here then? We're learning a lot. What the hell have I stumbled upon here? Where lie abominations more monstrous than any my mind could concoct? The bear has been tinkering, no doubt, intervening with the very essence of nature itself. Would that Caesar had lived to see this day, things would not be as they are. Interesting. That apparently is how the Legion talk, even though the Legion never talk like that. But, but okay, fine, whatever. Right, I need to open up all of these here, yeah, little prison cells. Because plenty of them have got people and- Oh, what the- What? What the heck are you bastards? Right, the ghosts have gone nuts. Okay, so these are these are super ghosts. Got it. We're dealing with super ghosts right now. Who can just punch me across the room. Okay, please stop it. Please stop. This is a mild annoy. Okay, what the hell? Let's make a super ghost variant that can just hobble around at slightly comical cartoon speeds and just punch people across the room. <laughs> Okay, that, that was a that was a silly idea. And now I'm inside a pillar. Now I'm inside a yeah, now my now my head's inside a pillar. Right, so there's this hasn't gone. Oh, I think I might have got free. I might be free. Run! Freedom! Never mind, I've been punched to a wall. <laughs> okay, how did anyone make these and not just think that just looks silly. That there, that's just very silly. Uh let's see if we can get one more actual person. Have we got a corpse? Yes, we might have corpses. Rebel skeletons. And no, no, no. A sewer. Apparently, I don't actually have sewer 25, but I've got observations. Let's observate. Oh, God, I haven't had time to make a recording for days. The extraction point is gone. Someone or something sabotaged the ladder. We're stuck down here with no food, little water, and less ammunition. Half the task force is dead. I don't even know how to fire a gun. What the hell is going on? Ah observations on the Royst case. So, Royst was mentioned. These here, these are the followers of the Apocalypse who came down here to try and get information. Okay, don't die. Don't die. I've got a programmer's digest. Okay, I want to know what's inside this computer. It's fine. And what's inside this system is literally nothing, except access override house directive. Suggesting that if I wanted full access to the sewers, I'd need to go to the Lucky 38 and use a terminal there. Okay. We might just have found something of interest. Why am I not dead, by the way? Are you guys not interested in... Oh, you're attacking each other. Okay, that makes sense, I guess. Still, the sewer key does get me an advanced radiation suit, which could be useful except for one small problem, which is, as the note pointed out, yeah, the actual ladders back up are all gone. There's no way to get out the way I came in because there's no ladder there. I just basically dropped down. So that... That's no good. And, you know, and that's also excluding the super-powered ghost people who just run around at slightly comical speeds, slowly punching you into a wall, which is just quite frankly hilarious. If you want to give me a punch now just to punch me up this hill, that'd be marvellous. Feel free to do that. That'd be great, actually. Okay, the comical fast ghost people are just hilarious, and I love them. They're, they're quite frankly wonderful. Right, so, obviously, this is all bad, and this is all bad as well, because this leads back into the sewer area I was in. The ghost people seem to be unable to follow me. Gotcha. So, some useful information. And the sewer key's kind of cool, but I'm also going to die of rads right here. Go, get out of the rads, get out of the rads, get out of the rads, get out of the rads. Don't die of rads. I'm not quite dead of rads, but I'm going to die of other things. Other things are definitely going to kill me. Like these guys. These guys are going to kill me, yes. Unless, of course, you don't have guns. Oh, you've got guns. Right, just, just go. Run. Right. Ignore. That's more cannibals. No. Okay, you were all right. I should never have come this way. I'm sorry. I've made a mistake. And this grate just leads down into more ghost people, which is not an improvement. Oh, except hang on. They're following me. They're following me to ghost people. Never mind. I might have been able to start a big old cannibal ghost people fight. That might have been fun. You know what? I think maybe all of you were right. Maybe I should just, like, not go in the sewer. The sewer seems like a silly place. Let's not go there. Still... We've learnt a lot, actually. We've learnt quite a lot today. Some interesting little facts that might well help me out going forward. But more importantly, we've got what I wanted. Rads are currently at 312. 
Not spectacular, but not a disaster either. Ammo, meanwhile, is in the best shape we've been in for quite some time. Now that, that's a healthy amount of ammo. That together with that fat mine for clearing out the strip itself, I think we might actually be able to make it to the monorail station and possibly the Ultralux, because I was never able to verify what was going on with the Ultralux door. Yeah, I think we're in good shape, ladies and gentlemen. Next week, we will be cracking back into the strip, but this time, uh, I'm prepared. I've got what I need, okay? I've got the mines. I've got the Molotov cocktails. I've got the low-powered guns with plenty of flipping ammunition in them. I think we can do it. I think we can get in there, get the keys, and then... How'd you get back out again? Can I get out the... No. No, I can't. Once I go in, there's no way out. Because the only way I have to get in is by dropping down into the actual tops. Ooh. Right. If I begin this journey, literally the only way to escape is for me to get the monorail back out of the strip again. Unless I can get up to any of those bits at the top and escape that way. Oh, that's going to be interesting. <laughs> oh, that's going to be very, very interesting. So... Join me for that next time, ladies and gentlemen. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Fallout New Vegas with Dust. Thank you very much, and goodbye. I've created a small problem in my road system, which is uh, it's literally impossible for anyone to ever go back into town. And this building shall be where we produce our zebras. And this much taller building next door is naturally where we produce the giraffes. Does anyone remember how the road system went? I think it was something like this.